This is a short video about installing and using Stockfish 15 on your own computer. So first things first, you have to download Stockfish 15, which is free. It's a open source binary. So here you select the first link and now I have Windows. So you download one of these binaries so that you can install it on your computer. You scroll down, depending on the system you're using, you could use a different binary. That's step one. Now for the second step, you cannot use Stockfish like that. You need what we call a GUI. What is a GUI? It's a graphic user interface. If you want to use a free one, Arena is the first link here and I'm gonna display how to use it. But if you have a software like Chasebase that you paid for, then I have that software. You can install it in your Chasebase program. I will demonstrate both. I am now in Chasebase 15. I go to create USI engine and click on that. I select the directory on my computer where I have the binary I have downloaded from the internet. Here is the first one here. You can see I've done it for any chess engine that you need. So I select Stockfish 15 here. Now I click OK and I am done. The last thing you want to do is go to parameters here and in engines, select once again, which engine you want by default. For me, it's gonna be Stockfish 15 because that's the greatest chess engine you can get. So here I am in Chasebase, I put this position and here Stockfish 15 has three lines. The depth is 33, but if I wait, the depth will increase. Now I can see that some people have searched this position and some of the computers like Fit16 recommend 96, but A6 is also recommended by Stockfish 14. In this case, I have letters and graders, and at my depth, A6 is the best move. That way you prevent Bishop B5. And here you have many possibilities, but I like Bishop G3. Now, if you don't have the latest and greatest and you believe, let's say, another engine, you may believe in 96. And what you can tell here is the engine like Bishop B5. And if you do Bishop G4, let's say, you take, take, and now do Knight BD2. And look at this, right? It's already giving a pawn up for white, very close to a pawn up. And here you can see it's live, it's still trying to compute the best move for each side. Once again, you can add as many lines as you need, or you can just put one line if you want to see the best line. It's up to you, but this is how in practice you can run Stockfish 15 in a software such as Chasebase. What if you don't want to purchase Chasebase and want to use a free software? Then you can use Arena. As I mentioned, it's one of the best chess GUI, graphical user interface. You can see here information. I'm using Arena 3.5.1. You can download this one for free on the web. And this is a website you can go to. Now, once you have this on your computer, how do you install a new engine? You go to engines over here and you do install new engine here. Now you select Stockfish 15, So my case. I just installed it before, so it's renaming this one. So I have a new version of it and now I can use uh, Stockfish 15. So let's say that I play a move like Knight BD2 here and the output looks a bit different because that's a different software, but I'm using Stockfish 15. Now I can compare, I could load a different engine. Let's say I use, instead of using Stockfish 15, I use Stockfish 14, same idea. And I can see here, let's say after Bishop G7, I can see what Stockfish 15 is saying. Once again, I can load uh, uh, this engine, Stockfish 15, and I'm switching back and forth here. I can let the computer run and I'm gonna see the eval, the depth is here, and this is saying plus 0 
but let's say if I were to do, let's say, a bad move, maybe I do this one, that's, let's continue, maybe I do h5, that's still okay, let's say knight h6, now if I do g4, that's a bad move, and you can see here that black is going to be winning a pawn plus 142 by taking on g4, and now you can go on like that, and on, on instead of g4, here, the computer recommend knight b3 here, that's a new variation, and you can save all that in PGN files. So that's how you will use Stockfish 15 over here using Arena. Now, let's say that you don't want to bother installing a GUI like Chasebase or Arena, and you simply want to know in a given position how is Stockfish 15, you know, evaluating the position and what are the best moves for each side. An easy way to do that is to go to leeches.org, which I have loaded on my screen over here. You can create a study. And then here I am in a study that someone created. And I'm trying to find in this position what is the best move. So D3 seems to be the best move, right? Here you have Stockfish 14, but very soon they will upgrade to stock, Stockfish 15. So what do you do here? You go at the bottom here. You could say, I want to use three lines. I want to use more CPUs. And then you go back here and all of a sudden, you can see that D3 is the first move, Bishop C4 the second move, and Bishop G5 is the third one. And now let's say you put D3 here on the board. Bishop G4 is the best answer. And you go on like that and you're going to have Stockfish giving you the best move as well. So here, let's say queen d2, and you can analyze your own games or the opening just like that. So that's a third way to use Stockfish. But then, of course, you have to wait for Leeches to upgrade to the latest Stockfish. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and feel free to uh, drop a like, questions, and I'll see you in the next one.